these people need this building more than I do, more yeah. than my children do, more than my parents' name on the building, more than what my plan was. There was a bigger plan. From that moment, I would drive up and that building looked like a church to me. It did not look wow. like a fish market anymore. Wow. And that was my baby. That was my fish market. That was my fish company. <laughs> I'm the only fish company in Sacramento that's locally owned. And I'm sitting here thinking, this thing's a church. This thing could basically touch so many more people and affect so many more lives if it were part of Bayside Midtown mm -hmm. than it would be if it was Sunfish Forever. This whole thing's so much bigger than me. Mm -hmm. I used to give myself all the credit for everything. Mm -hmm. It used to just all be about, you know, like as narcissistic as that sounds, I wouldn't say I was a narcissistic person, but I didn't know who to give the glory to. Mm. I purchased the property uh, on Broadway to move my business into, which obviously moving a business that's fully functioning seven days a week is not easy. So I, I really leaned into them a lot. And, and, and during the difficult times of moving like mm -hmm. that, I remind myself, you know, there's a plan to this all. And the plan is, for Bayside Midtown to thrive mm. and for it to touch that many more people mm. and for it to be able to seat many more people and, and, and people that have never heard the message to receive mm. that and mm. sit there and understand and, and believe, mm. you know, because I was not a believer and I'm a full blown believer now and, mm. and I could not be happier. It so takes cool. nothing to believe except for allowing yourself to. It so takes cool. zero effort except for opening yourself up and saying, you know what, I'm ready for this.